Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Spare Parts, and today I'll be doing a unboxing and review of set number 75136, the Droid Escape Pod. This set came out in the year 2016 and retailed for $25, and we will see if that holds up today. So here is a closer look at the box. So as you can see, it is the Droid Escape Pod set, and on the front we have a nice picture of the Escape Pod. You can also kind of see a sand crawler in the background. Then you have R2-D2 and C-3PO. Looks like they're running for some from some Jawas. And there's the Death Star plans in the sand. So pretty nice box art. I really like the sand crawler on the back. And they show you the minifigures right here. And on the back, it's like we have some the escape pod. This is what it's supposed to look like opened. That's nice. I'm glad they showed that. And then we have R2-D2 and C-3PO being ambushed. Also another sand crawler. That's cool. And then showing the play features. Man, I'm excited to see those in action. And then there's the accessories up here. And then looks like up here there's like a blueprint for what it's supposed to look like. I've never seen that before, or I just don't remember that. That's kind of cool. On the side, we have the minifigures again, and then a Jawa. And the rest of the sides just look basic. So that is the box art. You might be wondering too, that if you look at the top, you'll notice that this is Kylo Ren, and that is the box art from 2016. So this is a retired set, and the way I got it, as you can see on the top, there is a price for $40, and I actually bought this at a place called Whoppy Bricks, which is located in West Bend, Wisconsin, and I just stopped there today, and they have some really good deals on retired sets. I definitely recommend going there. You see, I got this one here for $40, which I think is a pretty fair price, and they have a bunch of other sets just like this one. Let's unbox the set. So I think this one does not have any push tabs. Yeah, it just has tape right here, so I'm gonna split that with the scissors. Uh, gotta get in there. One, two. All right, there we go. Now, let's just open it. All right, there's one bag. This is bag number one, so first bag. And then the instruction manual. Oh my gosh, this is really curled. That's not good. Ugh. Oh, the sticker sheet. Oh, that's kind of a lot of stickers. I'm kind of worried about applying these big ones. And then there's bag number two. And I think that's it. So there are two bags, instruction manual, and a sticker sheet. Now it's time to build it. So here it is. This is the complete set all put together and built. And there were a few extra pieces. So there was, put them out right now. There was this piece, which they use on the, as side thrusts. There was this shiny cone piece. And then there was a couple random translucent stud pieces, like, there's an orange one and there's two blue ones. So there's just a few extra pieces, nothing special. I kind of wish Lego would include some bigger extra pieces sometimes because you can't really like build anything with these extra pieces, but those are the extra pieces in the set. Let's take a look at the minifigures of the set. So the first one is this C-3PO minifigure and I think he looks really good because the other C-3PO I had before him looks like this and this is the older version and you can see that this version, the new version, has a lot better printing. Like, the old version doesn't have leg printing, and it doesn't have head printing, but this one does. And I think it looks really good. I like the wires. And on the back, it looks like similar printing on both ones. It's just this one has more detail, which I like. So, very nice figure. I think he looks great. All right, another R2-D2. Well, this R2-D2 looks normal. I think he has the small projection unit thing. No back printing. It's just a normal R2-D2. How do all of my videos have R2-D2? The set also includes two Jawa minifigures to ambush R2-D2 and C-3PO. And at first glance, they look very similar besides the different weapon, but they are actually different. If you look really closely at their torso printing, this one has like more looks like ammo cartridges or something, and this one has like a, a pouch just on one of the straps. So the straps are different, and on the back, 
this one has like a different type of pattern strap and this one has more of the ammo cartridges so i they are different i'm not sure like if they have different names but there's two different jawas in the set one last thing i'm going to mention is there is like a death star plans tile included in the set which can be used as a minifigure accessory it does go in the set which i will show you next but it is kind of cool and you can use it as a minifigure accessory so let's take a look at the play features of the set so first off i'm not sure if these are really supposed to be play features but you can move them on the front here there's these pipe pieces and i think they're supposed to be thrusts or something but you can move them out like this to represent it going backwards or something i think it's kind of cool i'm not sure if that's what they're supposed to be but it does work and also on the back there are some engine pieces you can see and these can kind of move out to add more directional movement which i think is kind of cool it just it, it's a cool play feature for kids and then if you want to access the interior where all the play features are you might have noticed these weird pieces sticking out up here these are actually supposed to be handle pieces and you just grab onto them like this and open out and then you have access to the interior which I think it's really cool that they have handle pieces because this actually is very difficult to open without them. I mean, for like a little kid, it'd be hard to grab all the way out here. You just have to like, yeah, it's, it's a lot. I'm glad they're there. But the one problem is when you want to like have it on a table, I would prefer it to be out like this. so like it can kind of look flush, but it kind of lays like this. So they're kind of, this piece doesn't make it lie flat. And I don't really like that that much, but... They kind of have to be there to make it able to be opened. But on the inside is where the real fun is. So you can put your minifigures inside the escape pod by just putting C-3PO here on these four studs right there. So it is kind of hard to get them out, but you just put them in there. And he's not going to fall out or anything. But this did, and I will get to that soon. <laughs> but you can have him grab onto this handlebar here. And then he'll be, like, driving the ship. And you can also put R2-D2 in on these jumper plates back here. Just kind of pop him in. He's not going to fall out either. But this thing did again. All right. I guess I should talk about this now. So this is the control panel for the ship, as you can see. I will look at that sticker later. But it kind of just sits in this little area right here. And then you are supposed to be able to pull it up. Because when you pull it up, it reveals the Death Star plans. And this is a very nice printed piece. I'm glad they included it in the set. Even though it's not really accurate because it's supposed to be an R2-D2. But it is a nice piece and I'm glad they included it. Nice play features. So overall, this set has a lot of play features for the size. Let's take a look at printed parts and stickers. Now, as you might have seen before with the sticker sheet, there are a lot of stickers on the set. And a lot of big ones, especially on the sides. And I don't know if this is for everybody, but I have a lot more trouble with big stickers than I do small stickers, just because I feel like you have to get them perfectly aligned. And it's just, it's kind of difficult to do that with big stickers. I don't know why, but there are four of them and oh, it was tough to apply those, but I eventually did it. So this is all stickered. And then on the front here, there is the Jedi Interceptor printed like windshield piece. I think that's pretty cool it's a nice use and on the inside there are a lot of stickers on the inside of these stickered outside pieces and i really like these inside stickers because there's a lot of easter eggs and just nice details like right here it shows like their trajectory towards tatooine which i think is pretty cool but my favorite is on this side where it shows a window where a Star Destroyer can be seen outside. Cause that's nice, cause that's in the movies as well. And then another sticker is the control panel. This is a sticker and it kind of shows, I think that's the Death Star. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. It might be Tatooine, but it's a control panel. And underneath that, there are the Death Star plans, which is a printed piece, very nice. I'm glad there's another printed piece in the set. I don't think it's exclusive though. I feel like it's been in some of the Rogue One sets, but it is a nice inclusion. And I think that's all the stickers and prints in the set. Is this escape pod accurate to what we see in the movies? I think it is pretty accurate. I think it's 
probably the most accurate escape pod that they've ever done. Because I know recently they released the escape pod microfighter, and that was not very accurate at all because it had R2-D2 and C-3PO just like sitting on the top. But I think this is the most accurate one they've done, except for maybe like these top pieces. This doesn't seem like it was in the movies, but it's there for handles, which makes sense. But I think it is pretty accurate. The stickers really add a lot, even though I don't like them very much. Now it's time to talk price per piece. So when the set was in retail stores, it retailed for $25. And since it has 197 pieces, that would be about 12.7 cents per piece. And that is, that's not that great. I mean, it's 10 cents per piece is good or average. And I understand why it's a little bit more expensive because these pieces are kind of big and it does have some more printed pieces like the cockpit piece and the Death Star plans print, but that's still a little bit expensive, although it does have four minifigures as well. But nowadays I bought it at Whoppy Bricks for $40. And if you take that into account, the price per piece now would be about 20 cents per piece. And that's terrible by like retail standards, but since it is a retired set, that makes sense. So I would say it is a fair price to pay today because I think this escape pod is like the best escape pod that Lego's ever made or most, most detailed, I will say. But overall, I think it is a fair price per piece for what it is nowadays, but probably not for what it was back then. Overall, I think this set deserves a nine out of 10, another one. I know all my sets seem to get nine out of 10s. But I really do think that this is a near perfect set if it didn't have so many stickers. Like they could have printed some of those outside pieces. They've done that before with escape pods and it would have just looked so much better and it would have been easier to apply because you wouldn't have to apply anything. So overall, I think it's just a very detailed model with just too many stickers. There you have it, guys. That's my unboxing and review of set number 75136, the droid escape pod. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.